Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use shaders in Unity. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn this ugly little scene with, let's just make a little cube here, a bit, with the URP system for post-processing in Unity, because this, this is a weird update for Unity 6, and it's quite difficult to do this, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. So we have this global volume here. Now this is very important. It's in your base scene. Um, it's in all of the sample scenes that are made with Unity 6. Now this is basically the post-processing for our um, for our game. So you can see there's weight, there's um, priority, and there's all this stuff. And at the main camera, if we close down all of this stuff, we have a few things here. Projection, which is the normal field of view stuff. Um, so that rendering stack, environment, and output. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry, and search here, Post Processing. Now we're going to click on Install, and we're going to let this load in. It might take a bit longer depending on how fast your internet connection is, and how fast your computer is because it has to compile some scripts in Unity itself. But after a little bit of time, it should load in like that. Okay, it's almost done, and now it is. Now that we have the Unity post processing in, we can go here, and um, it's right here, and we have to look around through these um, through these thingies here. Now, what you'll notice here is in the game we have this view, and let me just change this to. Full HD or um, free aspect, not bad. And if we go here to the bloom and up the intensity, as you can see it's working already and it is intensifying very much on what we do here. Now that we have here, we have post processing overrides as well since we have the post processing um, package to Unity, like chromatic aberration. If we turn this on, it looks different. Um, it's probably not the best example. Um, let's see, lens distortion, and to properly test this, we have to add a cube, which we're going to scale down so we can see it correctly, like that, and now we're going to just shove this in there, do like that, and uh, like that. Okay, now we have some stuff that we can see here to really test this out. Now we go to the global volume, lens distortion. Turns this on, it's working, everything's working, you can make stuff look warped, very close, it looks very weird. I really like it that much. Chromatic aberrations, you can see it's working because I added these objects. We can add all sorts of stuff here, and this is really up to you. Now, bloom is something that default comes with this um, with this um, this new volume thing. It is very, 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 very cool that they added this way of doing um, post-processing in Unity because it is much simpler than the old post-processing method. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If it really helped you out, um, don't forget to like, um, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.